Snakes. Successful animals spanning over 3,000 species and yet, we don't exactly know when or where they came from. Science is split into two opposing sides. Let's analyze the latest evidence and perhaps get closer to unraveling this mystery. To understand this mystery, we should first ask, what actually is a snake? I mean, how come this is not a snake, while this is a snake? Well, a snake is defined by, amongst other things, a lack of eyelids, lack of an outer ear, and to put simply, more complex jaw hinge, which allows snakes to consume bigger prey. These will be important later. These factors allow us to know where in the tree of life snakes belong, and that's, we sort of know. Snakes belong to the order Squamata, which also includes lizards. This order began at least 240 million years ago, and tens of millions of years later, lizards would form, taking over both terrestrial and aquatic niches. And then from here, at some point, somehow, somewhere, snakes would first arise. Based on this, we can say snakes evolved from the lizards. So where's the mystery? Well, apart from the fact we don't know exactly when or how this happened, we also don't know where it happened. Did snakes come from terrestrial, perhaps burrowing lizards, then at some point spread to the oceans? Or did they come from marine lizards, then spread to land? Snakes have a great body plan for marine living. Apart from sea snakes, there's plenty of animals like certain fish and amphibians, primitive and modern, all having the same body plan. So if some random lizard had to, say, live in a marine environment, it's likely it would evolve a snake-like body. By the way, this isn't a random hypothetical. This in fact has already happened. A terrestrial lizard ancestor, maybe around 170 million years ago, would begin to venture in the water, and through evolution, they would become the Mosasaurs. And according to some scientists, this same lizard that transitioned to water would also give rise to snakes. The two seem completely unrelated, but there's actually evidence to support a really close relationship. Superficially, mosasaurs are long animals, like snakes. But most crucially, mosasaurs have a jaw hinge that is very similar to that of snakes, which allow mosasaurs, like snakes, to swallow their food whole. Some recent studies using molecular evidence have also said they branched out from the same common ancestor. Adding to that, the oldest, most primitive snakes found at some point were Pachyrhachis and the slightly older Hasiophis, both ancient marine snakes from around 95 million years ago. The two also have hind legs, showing the possible remnants of a terrestrial lizard ancestor. This hypothesis is convincing and was for a long time, but even older snakes have been found, and they tell a different story. In the past two decades, animals of Najash were found, which lived around the same time and was definitely terrestrial. It also sported much more developed hind legs, showing it was more primitive. In fact, there's a ton of these newly found, completely terrestrial stem snakes, like the burrowing Denilicia at 85 million years ago, the four-legged Tetrapodophus at 120 million years ago, Diablophus at around 155 million years ago, and the oldest stem snake known to science, Eophis, at 167 million years ago. That's around 75 million years before Pachyrhachis and Hasiophis. A recent study has even removed these marine snakes as primitive stem snakes and labeled them now as modern snakes. So according to their research, they aren't transitional forms. Also, a recent study focusing on skull evolution concluded by outright saying lizards could not have transitioned to snakes by any other evolutionary path than through facile reality. In other words, only through a burrowing lifestyle. I mean, let's think about this. Having a slender body would allow for better, faster travel underground, like worms do. Outer ears to get dirt inside, so it would be nice to just no longer have them. Scratched corneas would also be an issue, so evolving to no longer have typical eyelids would also be pretty efficient. All these things perfectly fit with our definition of what a snake is. So pretty settled then, right? Well, not so fast. The molecular evidence still supports a very close snake mosasaur relationship. And even when it doesn't, it supports a snake relationship with varinids, animals that include monitor lizards and Komodo dragons, which themselves are thought to be closely related 
to mosasaurs. Also, lots of these ancient snakes have small fragment remains that can easily be misidentified. For example, the four-legged Tetrapodophus mentioned earlier is, in more recent studies, found to not have been a snake at all, primitive or modern. So some of these early snakes could possibly not even be snakes in the first place. It's also possible snakes could have evolved legs, then lose them multiple times throughout history. And that's why in the 21st century, it's still a mystery. But that shouldn't scare us, that should excite us. It should make us appreciate, depending on the person, the amazing or terrifying existence of snakes.